Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the anterocutaneous fistula. So what is the anterocutaneous fistula? As the name indicates, antero means small intestine and cutaneous means skin. So it is an abnormal connection between the small intestine and the skin. Although its name is anterocutaneous fistula, but it can sometimes occur between the stomach and the skin. Anterocutaneous fistulas can occur as a result of Crohn's disease, abdominal trauma, infections, but most commonly it occurs after surgery. About the anatomical classification, it can include duodenal, jejunal, and ileal. Physiological classification includes a high output and low output. Low output is usually less than 200 cc per a day, but the high output is more than 500 cc per a day. And that can be quite challenging, especially in controlling fluids and electrolytes. Enterocutaneous fistulas are managed according to SNAP. The S stands for sepsis elimination plus skin care because uh, skin care is very important because we're having intestinal contents are going up to the skin, so that can be quite irritative. The N stands for nutrition, parenteral nutrition, and also uh, controlling of fluids and electrolytes. A stands for anatomical assessment and P stands for a planned surgery. That's all that I have for this video. If I forgot anything, you can write it down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.